18 days away from Election Day and 5% still don't know who they're going to vote for for president. Also, I want to talk to those of you that have expressed anger at Dr. Joe Heck. And by the way, Dr. Joe Heck is a good and decent man. He's a family man. He's a brigadier general. He's a doctor. He saves people's lives. And I think that's great. I do think, and I've been quoted in, in national media, Politico, or uh, yeah, Politico for one, that I thought this was, that uh, this was a, maybe a mortal wound. I don't know. The voters will ultimately decide. But I do have a message. And by, by that I mean, uh, uh, rescinding the endorsement for Donald J. Trump. It would have been easy to simply say, I am, I am rescinding my endorsement, but in the end I will be voting for Donald J. Trump because I think he will. I think that when, if, if push comes to shove, Dr. Joe Heck will vote for Donald J. Trump. I believe that. I have seen no evidence of that. I haven't seen a statement from his staff or anything. But I believe that, that in his heart, Dr. Joe Heck would not vote for anybody but Donald J. Trump because the alternative is too horrific to even think about. The previous caller didn't sound undecided. He said he sounded absolutely sure he's going to vote against Joe Heck because he rescinded his endorsement of Donald J. Trump. And it would have been so simple. This is what I don't understand about Joe Heck. It would have been so simple to say, I, I, I disavow his comments. I disavow uh, you know, the fact that there are eight or nine women coming forward claiming that he, uh, 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 he's guilty of sexual misconduct. And I'm still evaluating what I'm going to do on Election Day. And he could have come out a day before Election Day and said, uh, you know, despite all of that, I am going to vote for Donald J. Trump because the alternative is simply unthinkable. Voting to elect Hillary Rodham Clinton. Man, what, what, what a strange election cycle this has been. My name is Kevin Wall, the program live and local now.